Hi, I'm Amy Whittacombe, an undergraduate student at Queen Mary University of London and I'm just here to discuss our, an experiment we did on bitumen, which is a material which seems like a solid but doesn't, does in fact flow on a long time scale. Um, similar experiments have been done in Queensland and in Dublin, the Queensland experiment starting in 1927, um, which has got it a prize as the longest running experiment in history. Um, the reason we've done this experiment is that we wanted to do a visual demonstration of the flow. So the Clean Queensland experiment only had a drop every 10 years, whereas we wanted um, a demonstration over the time scale of an, one academic year. So students coming and going could see the progress of the experiment over a year and actually observe the flow. Um, there's also, we also wanted to demonstrate some fundamental physics involving whether bitumen is solid or a liquid. So here we have a sample. It looks completely solid, but in our experiment over over a year, we've had some significant flow, and from this, have been able to measure the viscosity of the bitumen, which we found to be about 30 times um, lower than the viscosity of the bitumen in the Queensland experiment. So we set up the experiment by melting the bitumen in a furnace and then pouring it into sealed, five sealed beakers with different apertures so we'd have different flow rates. After a day of cooling we removed the stoppers and after a month about um, we began to observe flow. So it started as a drop and then look, it actually looks like liquid flowing from a tap but if you touch it it's sort of like a bendy solid flow as we'll see in the video. So this is a series of frames um, showing the, initially the setup of the experiment and then as it begins to flow over a period of months. So eventually you can see flow from all five of the tubes, but to start with some of them started to flow before the others. And so from the experiment we've actually calculated the viscosity of this bitumen and we found it to be about 10 billion times greater than the viscosity of water. But even though it is so much more viscous, it's still demonstrably a liquid because of the flow we've, we've observed. Hi, I'm Pratisan Ravinder Raja. I'm a second year student at Queen Mary University of London, and I'll take it from where Amy left in. This experiment is simple, yet it demonstrates both of ideas. Point number one, what is long? The bitumen at Queensland University has around a drop every 10 years, and it is considered long. However, there are other materials such as silica, which has a flow rate larger than the age of the universe. Point number two, the fact that the bitumen is liquid by feels like solid is counterintuitive. And this kind of problem is similar to the problem arises from quantum mechanics and general relativity. Point number three, the debate that started around 70 years ago to discuss whether if there's a qualitative difference between solids and liquids are still going on. These kinds of experiments are very important, whatever the theory is. Bitumen experiment remains a simple, important experiment that challenges us.